Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector here with another action figure review. And here we have the House of X um, Moira figure here uh, from Marvel Legends. And here we have the Marvel Legends, oh shoot, I am so sorry about that. Um, so we have the Marvel Legends logo on top here. We got the House of X logo there. It should say Moira and the symbols there. Here's a picture of Moira in the side here with the House of X symbol there. Same picture on the back. With, if you guys want to pause and read that, you can. And then here's all the figures in Wave to make Tri-Sentinel. We already went through Wolverine. We got Professor X to come next. Um, the Omega Sentinel figure. Uh, Jean Grey, Moira, which we are doing right now. Magneto, and then Cyclops. And then uh, we get the same picture on the other side. And then here's the bomb with the DCPI. So besides that, let's crack her open. And here she is at packaging here. So first, let's go over the accessories. So first, we get the Tri-Sentinel's uh, left left leg uh, we'll go over that uh, once we build the figure um and then it comes with this little book here a little science book you get the little picture of the atom um that is painted in like gold and then the rest of the book is kind of just painted in gray so that's pretty cool accessory there you get this little white scarf here soft plastic uh it's just all white nothing real fancy about it um and then you get this other head sculpt here looks really good like the hair color and you get the, like the big gold earrings there you get the nice green eyes there you get the little mascara on the edges of the eyes nice brown hair you get this white hat for her too and nice purple lipstick so really good paint job here don't even, i don't see any mess ups right now on this figure i don't think yeah i i don't think it's cockeyed through the camera at least i don't i can barely tell if it is in person so good job painting there and you get two different arms here uh so this one's the her right arm um just purple sleeved with the open hand here i don't know where her powers is i haven't read the comic of the house of x um i just know some of the x-men just turned bad or something like that it's basically like house of m but uh, yeah, this is her right arm here, and you get the nice little sculpt there, kind of giving it a sweater look to it. And same deal on the other side, except the hand's just a little different. It's like a grabbing hand, so same sculpt for the other arm, um, but just a different hand for it. So, yeah, there's that. Um, but besides that, that's all we got for accessories. So here is Moira here. So this is the same head sculpt, except she doesn't have the hat on top, and she just has glasses on this one. And they use clear plastic for the pla uh, glasses here, which look really good. I like it a lot. It looks really good. They actually look like they would be real glasses. Um, and then uh, you get these other arms here. I'll show you how to take off the arms and then switch out. But these are like lab coat arms for her. And you can switch out hands if you want to, too. Um, so, yeah. Nothing real fancy about the arms besides it's like lab coat arms. Uh, just all white. And same deal on the coat itself. You get some pens. You get the black pen, light blue pen, a little bit of a darker pen, a blue pen. And you get her sweater here. That looks really good. You got the skirt that is like a maroon color. Uh, for the lab coat, you get some pouches on the sides here. You get the legs, uh, you get the heels here, like maroon color, purple. Um, but besides that, that's all you got for like the looks. So let's go over our articulations. Our head can hinge down that far, up that far. She can look left and right. A little head pivoting there. Her shoulders can hinge, I mean, go up that far. 360 rotation, single jointed elbows that go past a little 90 degrees. You can rotate the elbow there. Her wrist can move, I don't know what's up with this one, but it's like a that weird slant type of thing. I don't know if you guys can see that. It doesn't look like it wants to move up or down. I don't know, that looks weird. Um, but, oh, now it does. All right, so it goes down that far. Oh, that looks, that looks weird. Yeah, I'm a little worried about that hand. Um, let's try the other hand. So this one looks like it would be better. And it goes up that far. 360 rotation there. Diaphragm joint at the there. So she can go forward barely any. Backwards just a little. She can do 360 rotation around. Oh wait, she's got 
yeah, 360 rotation around the diaphragm joint there. She can go a little side to side, not a whole lot. Oh, I'm, am I holding? Okay, I was a little scared for a second. Her legs can kick out that far because there's a little slit there on the side there. Uh, forward, just a little bit, not a whole lot. Uh, she has a thigh cut, double jointed knees, uh, still got pin joint. Um, yeah, still, uh, sorry. You still got pins in the joints here from the knees. Uh, her ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, and a nice ankle pivot. And for the arms, uh, what you want to do is basically just pop the shoulder out, if I could do it, and uh, without breaking it. <laughs> All right, let's try the other arm first. I'm more worried about I'm more worried about pulling the elbow piece out. Here, I'm just gonna do a little off camera here for a second. Oh, I pulled the hand off instead. I was more worried about the elbow popping out though. I'm a little worried about this one. Give me a second here. I'm gonna pause the video here. So finally got the sleeves off, so now you just wanna do that. See, that's the black piece that you see there is just from my hands, charcoal, glass. So uh, that was painful, but I got it done. Um, so let's see here. So this one's her right here. Yep. Okay. Just want to pop that in. There we go. Just pops in like that. Uh, and then we'll get the other hand here. I mean, other arm. Don't like how that elbow looks there, though. Looks weird. A lot of gappage. And it doesn't want to bend for me. So I'm a little worried if it'll break. I don't want to mess with that too much. All right, there we go. Pop the other one in. And then here's her and her more civilian look. If I could pop off the, pop it in the head. There we go. And that's her in her civilian look. That was a little bit of a pain to get done. But yeah, for some reason, this elbow just doesn't want to move for me. So I'm a little afraid of that. But yeah, this is what she looks like with her civilian clothes or without the lab jacket, I should say, actually. But yeah, uh, I think it's a decent figure. It, they could definitely use some work on making this a little easier to take off. Not too easy, but to the point it's too loose to come off. Um, but I like the idea of bringing in different accessories to switch out the sleeves. Probably should have put this on her neck. Um, and then, yeah, uh, really, I like the sculpt of the figure. They did a good job on that. I like the head sculpt a lot too. Really good. Um, but besides that, that's all I got for the figure. Um, but don't forget to check out my Twitch. I do Call of Duty. I'm going to do it, uh, Friday the 13th at some point soon with my buddies and I'm doing Avengers campaign missions and I'm going to do Spider-Man and a few other games that are, I have going. I got No Man's Sky. Um, but besides that, that's all I got.